thought I'd do a little post on the spring equinox that we've had this fabulous weekend before we look at the cards and how that spring equinox is going to affect some of our star signs there. So spring equinox, it's known um, as the time between the mid time between the light and the dark. We're really starting to in the in the UK here, we're really starting to get things a bit lighter, the daylight hours are becoming longer, and it's asking us to look at some um, balance in our life. So not just with the day and night being at equal lengths, but what in our life can we balance? Work and home, some of us are looking to get back to our, our jobs now, so we're getting that balance of everything. Maybe it's to do with relationships, maybe you're looking at where you are with your friendships and where you are with your relationships as well there. So the spring equinox, um, it's a great time. When we look back at Imolk, when we look back into those winter months a couple of months ago and we started sowing some seeds, it's a really good time to see if those seeds are, are going to germinate. It, are our ideas worth it or was it just a little bit pie in the sky? Was it something that we thought we wanted to do but now we realise we don't want to do? So that's a really good time now to have a real real thinks about thought about your investment into what it is you're going to start ploughing your energy into. And some of those ideas, they may have started to start to shoot now. Some of those ideas may have started to show that, that they've got great potential. So this is where you want to be putting more attention into those. And those ideas that you know really haven't germinated, really haven't come to nothing, just don't worry about it. Park it, maybe it'll come back later. But concentrate on what is going to start to work for you. I absolutely love spring. It's my favourite time of year. It feels like it's full of new hope, new life. Um, and it's got this excited buzz about all the opportunities there. Not just about balancing in your life, but all about that possibility of what, what's going to come up. For us so I have created um, a little spread so we'll take a look at that in a moment nature as well we notice that nature comes to life just as we start to come to life the ground is at its most fertile so it's a great time for planting anyway but it's a great time for using that planting with ourselves and where we can be fertile there the um, goddess connected around here in Celtic tradition traditions is um, Hecate, Freya and Holder. Now the hair is also the symbol here. So this is where we get the Easter eggs. This is where we get the um, the bunny rabbits that come up there. They mate a lot, don't they? So it's all associated, connected to the phases of the moon and you know, which dies every evening and then comes back up each morning. And the hair is a symbol of immortality. It's a major symbol for fertility and abundance because they can conceive while they're pregnant, lucky them. So over the, over the centuries there, the hair has become um, quite a lot, uh, a traditional ostra. Uh, connection there. We have our own uh, Easter as well which is taken from Ostra in a couple of weeks time but here now as pagans that we tend to celebrate the the time of the season now rather than Easter although I have to say I'm not opposed to a few chocolate Easter eggs there. Really the chocolate Easter eggs it's all commercial isn't it? The egg you know uh, new, new life symbolizing new birth and I have no idea where chocolate's come into, but I'm not gonna complain about that. I'm not gonna complain about that. So let's have a little look. Um, actually, just reminding me there, the oak, the yolk rather, the yolk in the egg represents the sun god um, and the white goddess. So that's the perfect balance there between the sun god and the white of the egg, given that balance, which is again appropriate to Ostra and the spring equinox when everything is in balance. So there's some gorgeous meditations that you can do to find your balance, but what I've done is created, let's just get it up on the screen there, uh, a spring equinox tarot spread, because I love my tarot spread. So let's have a little look. So we're gonna have a little look. First of all, um, we're gonna have a look at the fire signs there. Oh, first card's come out, fire signs. So if you're a fire sign, so a Leo, uh, Sagittarius or an Aries, this is one of your cards there, judgment. So fire signs, this spring equinox, it's going to be all about new beginnings. It's all going to be all about an awakening. It's going to be all about the energy around you at the moment is all about this penny dropping moment. So the first one that I've got up there is what buds are your potential now? So fire signs, your buds of your potential are this big, big awakening that you can see the picture clearer. And there's this almost spiritual awakening, this aha moment there, but it's coming alive. 
What is the spring equinox energy around you at this time, fire signs? Let's have a look. What is your energy? It is moving into calmer waters, fabulous. So here it's indicating that you're gonna be leaving things behind. You may not know what is ahead of you, you might not know exactly where you're heading, but you are definitely moving into calmer waters. The transition of energy that's around you, fire signs at the moment, just tells you to trust a little bit and just says, get out of anything that is bringing you down, anything that is making you feel a bit low, anything that is making you feel like that you don't wanna be in that energy, now's the time to get out of it. You know, don't hold back, move on from things that are causing you challenges or causing you blocks of any kind, fire signs. How can you bloom in abundance for these spring months, fire signs? Let's have a look. The Ten of Wands. So how can you bloom in abundance? Now this says finish what you started, uh, um, fire signs. So you, some of you are so quick that you might find that you want to start something new before you've actually finished it. So this says just keep going. You're coming to the end of the pressure and the weight on your shoulders there. But how you can bring extra abundance into your life at the moment is not giving up. Finish up those loose ends, tick off things that you've got to do. Don't give up because you are coming to this new beginning around yourself. You've just got a little bit more step to go on there. But be mindful not to take on too much more responsibility as well. Okay, how can you get balance in your life, fire signs? Okay, the king of swords. So use your nod a little bit here. Detach yourself emotionally from things. If something is feeling too emotional for you, this card is saying to get that balance at the moment, you need to be using your head, your logic side. Some of you may also need to be seeking some advice from somebody who isn't emotionally attached to you. So it could be lawyers, could be counselors, could be solicitors, anybody that's kind of really up together with their knowledge there. That's how you're gonna be able to get this balance coming in at the moment there. But using your head and detaching that emotional side. Think logically there. What area do you need nature to fall for your growth now? What area do I need to nurture, sorry. What area, I can't read my writing. Uh, what area do I need to nurture now for full growth later? Okay, fire signs. A Little bit of juggling. So you've got some juggling to do fire signs. So this is how you can nurture things for, your for yourself later. And like I said, it's about not giving up. So continue juggling things, even if you've got one or two things going on there. Weigh up all your options. I don't feel like I wanna say like put things down. I feel like I wanna say just keep going there because you could kick yourself later on that you didn't make the most of situations so keep juggling there you can overcome difficulties use your choices wisely be practical with your choices but there's some decisions to be made perhaps with finances perhaps with home that's going to need a bit more attention in order for you to reap the benefits later on for you there and fire signs your spring equinox message let's have a look at your spring equinox message Gorgeous card, fire signs. So harmony and healing, particularly healing from the past, healing from old wounds, accepting apologies. Maybe somebody or a situation from the past is gonna come back into your life, but this time you're able to do things better. This time you're able to do things with more balance, with more harmony. And there is this sort of nostalgia feel with this card as well. So the message is like remembering things from the past, but don't let your mind go down any negative areas. Use it in a positive, take from it and and turn it into a positive there any ideas that you've put on the back burner the message might be you could be coming they could be coming back into your mind now to start doing all right but it's a lovely harmony card so there you go fire signs that is your that is your equinox um tarot message let's have a look now for the earth signs so taurus virgo and capricorn let's see what we've got for for you now, I'm excited. This is a double one because I'm a Capricorn Ascendant and Taurus Sun. So let's see what the energy is. So what buds are our potential now? Earth signs. What buds are our potential? Fabulous. New ways of thinking about things. So the pages can be a person of a young mindset or a young age, somebody who's going to come in with some ideas, perhaps around work or perhaps around the home, but practical endeavours there. They've got all the ideas and there's a lot of potential. As a situation, this is very much going to be comfortable for us earth signs because it's to do with money, it's to do with material things. So you might be, I mean, if you're anything like me, I've been juggling things around the house, goodness knows, for so long. There's actually nothing left to move, but I'm still finding things to move. So new ideas around the home and always new ideas around work and earth signs we do like to 
to earn a few extra bob. So we'll be thinking our potential, and this is such a potential card, is that it's there. It's at that very beginning idea stage. So um, what is the spring equinox energy around us earth signs? Ten of Swords, we are done with all the shit now. We are done with the things that no longer serve us. We have to sometimes accept that something didn't work or accept that something was what it was. Don't want to carry that over to these spring months. We want to say, no, it is what it is. Let's close that door. Let's move forward now. Anything from the past could have a negative influence. If you keep worrying about something or you keep going around in circles about something, just accept what it is. Admit that maybe things didn't go in your favor, but that's okay. We all learn from that. Close that door and you can move on from it. All right. Sometimes this card earth signs can come up when things are a little bit difficult and we've got this emotional karma that's turned into sort of mental problems as well. But it, it's the end of a karmic cycle now. It's the end of challenging times. And we may feel that we've been stabbed in the back a little bit there, but it's done. It's over. Finished. How can you bloom in abundance? So from those potential on that page of uh, pentacles how can we use that to bloom in our abundance okay I'm not listening to this but this is about saving some pennies and I just do love to spend so here we've got how can you bloom in abundance just keep things maybe a little bit to yourself at the moment earth signs you don't I'm terrible for sharing everything but maybe just keep things a little bit to yourself maybe a bit mindful particularly around finances you know this card says to hold things all together but not so much that you're blocking yourself so I always feel that if every honestly every time I'm not encouraging people to spend here but if I buy something I get it back the money comes back in it's so weird so getting that flow that balance of energy that balance of money here if you feel earth signs that you've got a block emotionally here this can be better for you as the months go forward but also remember just to open that heart chakra a little bit don't completely block yourself off but how can you bloom in abundance keep your ideas to yourself really and just be a little bit mindful about how much you are holding on to things that it isn't in your detriment there okay that it isn't going to go against you a little bit of flexibility so how can we get the balance in our life um earth signs how can we get the balance in our life oh love this card the wheel of fortune we can get the balance by just going with the flow trusting in the universe trusting in our destiny and making action you know there's a lot to talk and talk and talk but actually you need to get off and do something I see a lot of clients that want all these grand things to happen but they don't want to do anything about it they just want it they think that the cards have said that they're going to meet this knight in shining armor or that they're going to get this job but actually part of it is that you have to meet the energy halfway you can't just sit indoors and expect it all to happen so, you know, Mr. Amazon man might knock on the door and sweep you off your feet, but you need to take action. So how can we get the balance in life is by meeting that energy halfway, by thinking about these ideas, doing something about it, not just talking about it, but going with the flow and accepting that life has these ebbs and flows. One minute it goes down, the next minute it goes up. So this is a great card that the getting the balance now, Earth signs, is that things are going to start to move a little bit more in our favour. Things are going to start to feel a little bit more uplifted and a little bit more luck on our side there. Knowledge, learning, studying is going to be really good to get some balance coming in and just educating yourself enough to go forward with where, whatever area it is that you want to expand on. Now, what area do we need to nurture for our full growth? It's all about hard work, earth signs. So this is indicating that we need to roll our sleeves up. We need to get these jobs done before we start anything else. That's what I'm doing today, funny enough. Before we do anything else, we need to pay attention to things, prioritise things, get things finished, get things sorted, get things done, and then we'll feel more clearer to start something new. So in order to be able to nurture what we want now, in order to get our bloom later, for our full growth later, we are having to roll our sleeves up. Later on, we'll be able to chill out and we'll be able to relax a bit more, especially around September time. But at the moment, it's hard graft earth signs, but you will get your rewards. So look at what needs prioritizing, look at what needs finishing and finalizing, get it done and you will definitely be onto a winner. 
And this is your our Spring Equinox Tarot message. It is the Knight of Pentacles, fabulous. Because the first card came up with the Page of Pentacles, so as the time goes on, that moves to the Knight. So our idea is gonna start to be planted. The Knight of Pentacles invites us to be able to move forward with an idea. It could be a person, this really represents Virgo strongly. So you might have a Virgo come in your life and help you or support you or come to you with an idea, or maybe you are asking a Virgo to help you with some work. But if it isn't a person, then the message of this card is to say that now's the time to really start doing things. Very, very similar to that Eight of, of, Wands, uh, Eight of Pentacles there. Now's the time to put the energy into something if you want the outcome to be positive there. Roll your sleeves up, get on with it there, take action of your ideas. That's your Earth signs, that is your um, Spring Equinox Tarot spread. Let's have a look at water signs now. So Scorpio, Pisces and Cancerian. Let's see what this Spring Equinox brings for you guys. If you would like to book your own reading for this, then do message me and I can um, book you in for your own Spring Equinox personal message. So what buds are your potential now, water signs? It is the tower. It is the tower, so change. So water signs, now's the time to change. Now's the time, if you want things to happen, maybe you have to go through a bit of chaos, maybe you've got to go through a bit of an upheaval, but with this card, it breaks everything down and it allows you to re really rebuild something. So budding as your potential now is amongst a chaos, is amongst change there. And sometimes we've just got to go through it all. We've just got to go through that change, that chaos. Might feel uncomfortable to some of you, but there is usually a silver lining from this except that fall from grace except that sometimes we do need to start all over again all right but it will you know budding is your potential it's going to lead you into something where you're going to be able to start sowing new seeds what is the spring equinox energy around you now happy families that's lovely. So, um, water signs, reunited with your families, perhaps looking forward to some celebrations there, looking forward to being connected around your families as we start to come out of the lockdown um, situation slightly there. So this is really the energy, happiness, contentment, emotional happiness, emotional contentment, and feeling, battery, feeling a little bit more happier and a, a little bit more emotionally satisfied there. Okay, bear with me. I've just seen my phone flash up. So let's just pop my charger in there. Okay, so let's have a look at um, how can you bloom in abundance Oops, for these spring months. That one's jumped out. Oh, jumping, jumping. How can you bloom, what does it say? How can you bloom in abundance for the spring months there? Making sure that you're doing everything calm and collective. Now this does connect to a water sign as it goes, so nice and comfortable for you. Try not to throw your toys out the pram. Try and do things in a kind, caring, considerate manner. Try and keep things of an even, even kill there. What you can bloom into abundance, now it could be on an emotional le level that you're gonna be feeling more emotionally mature, morely, more, morely, more like you've overcome situations there. But how you can actually achieve that is by being mature with your emotions and finding that balance, all right? And experiencing emotions, using it for the best, best reasons there. How can you get the balance in your life now? And we've got the worry card. How can you get the balance in your life there? Now, really, this card is saying, try not to over worry. Ask yourself, what is it that you're worried about? What is it that you're stressed about? What is it that keeps you up at night? And then really start to think about, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? So your balance comes from your mind, uh, water signs here. Try not to overthink things. Try not to overanalyze anything. Try and just chill out a little bit there, all right? And how do you need, what do you need to, uh, or what area do you need to nurture for your full growth later? It is your emotions area. It is your emotions. Turning your back on what no longer serves you, walking away from drama rama, walking away from trouble there, really going in search of you, really going some, doing some deep south searching water signs, maybe looking at your shadow side there, maybe looking at, you know, your personal responsibility of things, especially with that worry card, looking at what you're worried about. But this is saying in order to nurture yourself for your best self here, you really need to be looking at your emotional side and where, where do you not feel content? Where do you not feel happy? What is missing in your life? Then you can start to work on how to bring, bring about much better energy all round. 
But your spring equinox tarot message is victory and success. So there could be some distractions around you, water signs, but stay focused, you know. Don't get pulled into anything there. This card is like saying there was going to be some trouble, there's going to be some challenges. But if you stay focused, if you stay on the ball, you can overcome them. All right, this card is saying that you can really be back in charge, you can be back in control if you don't get distracted. So that power of that Spring Equinox Tarot message is all yours. But you can do this, you can get to where you need to go, but just don't be drawn into anything or be pulled off track. Okay, water signs. All right, and last but not least, let's have a look at our air signs. What do we have for the spring equinox for these lovely air signs? So we're looking at Gemini, we're looking at Libra, and we're looking at Aquarius. So what buds as your potential now air signs? Very much your spiritual pathway. Some of you might already be mediums or looking to develop into psychic development or mediumship there, but this is saying that you need to go within and really focus on what feels right for you. Your full potential is you. It's all within you. So really look at meditation, maybe look at getting some spiritual guidance there, sitting in the power, anything that's really going to connect to your own source and your own personal values. That's where your buds of potential are. If you already are a working medium, I would say definitely there's going to be some um, good opportunities coming there. What is the spring equinox energy around you? It is the Knight of Swords, a fellow air sign. Now he comes in to say you might want to be going for it. The spring equinox energy might want you might air signs want to be going. Yeah, I'm all ready for it. I'm off it off to the races now. However, this says just don't go so rushing. Just don't go so rushing. Just don't rush so much. Try and take a little bit of a breath. Try and take a bit of a breather, and maybe just slow the pace down because you might be so hell bent on getting what you want that you could make some mistakes on the way there. So just make sure that you're prepared. That you're organised you've got to dot the i's cross the t's and you're not rushing into something that later on you could regret how can you bring um more abundance how can you bloom abundance into the next few months there the hanged man okay air signs the hangman is asking you to think logically to see things differently so in order for you to bloom in abundance over those next few months, you may have to make some sacrifices. You might have to let things go. It depends what you want to do. If you want to start growing yourself, if you want to start really uh, evolving, then there's definitely a need to let things go, make some sacrifices and break the mold in some way. Break traditions, do something different and look at things from a different angle. Look at the long term. If you're quite happy where you are and you just want to plod on every day and you're not worried about growing, you're not worried about seeing the bigger picture then this indicates just carry on doing what you're doing carry on doing what you're doing so it depends if you want to really bloom then you're going to have to have a look at your whole life in a really different way now and look at what needs to be sacrificed in order for you to grow there you know sometimes this card can come up when we're so and, and air signs aren't really into this but when we're so um controlled by society or controlled by tradition and this is sam it's not going to work for you. In order to grow, you've got to break free from that. How can you get more balance into your life, air signs? Let's have a look. How can you get more balance into your life? Letting that old go. Where, working out where you are wasting your time on negative emotions. What now has is turning into more, maybe depression or turning you into a bit of a, a moody mare there? Have a look at what is not serving you. Now this card can come up when there's grief, when we've literally physically lost someone. So I'm not saying to you, get over yourself. It's not about that. This is saying, look around you. You've got some really good things. So in order to get the balance, it's not just about being down all the time. It's about looking at the positives, looking at the cup half full and not half empty. That is what the card is indicating. Try and bring in some positive energy as well to get that balance. What area do you need to nurture for full growth, success and victory? So this card indicates that you really now need to start thinking about how far you've come, milestones. So it's like saying, to, to pat yourself on the back, give yourself a bit of a break, you know, tell yourself, actually, I've come this far, I've done all this. And while you've still got a little bit more, you really need to nurture and own how far you've come. That's how you're going to grow later. If you keep going and going and going, you could run out of steam. So just take a pause and really look back at everything that you've achieved, particularly over the last six months, what you've achieved there, how far you've actually come. Take a pause, 
and then you'll feel better when you start going on. But nurture yourself, honour yourself and honour those milestones. And your Spring Equinox Tarot message. Let's have a look here. It is the Sun card. Happy, vibrant, carefree, enjoying life. Happy family, some good news coming in there. Your spring message says, yes, go for it. Connect with your inner child. Find something fun to do. Let your hair down, be creative, and especially enjoy family times there as well. Make the most of everything, but this is a happy-go-lucky card. So a great message for you there. And that is your spring equinox messages, guys. Please drop me a comment. Let me know if that makes sense to you. Let me know if you would like to book one of the equinox readings. You can check them out on my website, www.katemay.co.uk. You'll be able to see everything that's up there, uh, current up there, to do with the different spreads. More is going up as and when I'm doing them, but you'll be able to see the images if you fancy one of those. All right, if you want to book a full reading with me, again, check out my website www.katemay.co.uk. Thank you for some. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Do keep subscribing and do keep putting the comments down because the algorithms love it. Thanks, guys. Have a happy spring equinox.